Hello, everybody. So today we're going to start our last chapter in the second grade Go Math textbook. And today we're working with three dimensional shapes. We're on page 521 of the second grade Go Math textbook. So what objects match three dimensional shapes? So I want you to look at this first shape. Okay, it's a rectangular cube, right? Okay, and I want you to think of another object in in real life that is similar to this shape okay for instance i went ahead and drew a cereal box okay I, um and then the second shape is a cylinder and so that reminded me of a soup can okay so you draw something that represents both of those uh three-dimensional shapes in real life okay all right Let's look at page 522. So these are three-dimensional shapes. So what does three-dimensional shapes mean? Well, it means that they have length, width, and they also have height. Okay, so I'm sorry. So height, length, and width. Okay. Same thing here with the rectangular prism, the sphere the cylinder, and the cone. And so which of these objects has the shape of a cube? Well, that's a cone. That's a sphere. So this is the cube. So that's basically what we're going to be doing today is just identifying three-dimensional shapes. All right, so circle the objects that match the shape name. Okay. If you want to pause the video, go through the pages and circle the answers that you feel are correct and then come back and check your work, um, feel free to do so. So a sphere, you should have circled the basketball. Cube, okay, a cube means that all sides are equal. So that's the dice. Let's look at 523. Circle the objects that match the shape name. Okay, which one of those three shapes is a cylinder? Yeah, it's that shape. Which one is a rectangular prism? Well, now be careful on this one because we've only been circling one, right? But that's a rectangular prism. And so is this. Okay, so this one, there were, there were two rectangular prisms. A cone, okay? That's a cone. So is that. And our last one, a cube. Okay, remember a cube has to have six equal sides. So that would be the cube. Okay. All right. Circle the shapes that have a curved surface. Draw an X on the shapes that do not have a curved surface. All right. Well, that doesn't have a curved shape surface. This does not have a curved surface, but the remaining three do have curved surfaces. There, there, and there, right? Okay, so those three have curved surfaces. Those two do not. Now let's look at page 524. All right, Reba traced around the bottom of each block. So match each block with the shape Reba drew. Okay, so we have a rectangular prism, we have a cylinder, and we have a cube. The cylinder is the obvious one, right? Because it has curved surfaces. So let's just connect those two. All right, now a cube, that has to have square faces, right? All right, so that's this one right here. Okay, and so this rectangular prism, the reason it's called a rectangle is it has a rectangular face. Okay. <clears throat> Just like that. And the last question for this first lesson. Match the shapes. Okay, which one is a cube? Okay, well, we've already had this shape and identified it as a cube. So we have that. 
Which one's a cone? The ice cream cone. The cylinder. Okay, well, that's the soup can. And that leaves us one object, the sphere, which is the basketball. Okay, so double check your work. And that's all there is to identifying those three dimensional shapes the cube, the rectangular prism, the sphere, cylinder, and cone. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.